Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel and today I'll be sharing with you my June empties. But first I would like to wish everyone a happy 4th of July. I hope everyone is going to have a wonderful day celebrating our nation and what our nation stands for. And that is our freedom that a lot of times we um, take for granted. So just take a moment and just really um, reflect on what our freedom actually stands for. and. Um, respect our flag and what it stands for and let's um, just appreciate what we have and enjoy the time with your family and most important though be safe especially if you're going to shoot off some fireworks be safe and enjoy your time so without further ado let's get started with the empties okay I don't have a whole lot of empties this month it's just the way that it played out um, some months I have a whole lot and other months I don't so we'll just get right into it so of course I have my makeup remover wipes I talk about these every single month um, get them from big lots big lots <laughs> big lots they're the apple original clean facial cleansing towelettes I use these every morning when I'm putting my makeup on just to kind of help um, clean up anything that has fallen on my face um, use it to um, clean off my hand. I um, do a lot of mixing on my hand with my foundation, whether it's mixing two different foundations together or if I'm putting in some um, custom drops, you know, like some um, enhancing drops, you know, for, for glow. <laughs> can't even think what they're called anyway so I need some wipes to wipe all that off and those are the ones that I like I also finished a, by Wish Trend the Medelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water and how I would use this is as a um, toner and I would use it morning and evening and I would just put a little bit in the palm of my hand and just kind of um, take it and press it into my skin and that's how I would use it as an acid toner. I did like it and will be putting it on my list of repurchase items. So I did enjoy this. Um, <clears throat> it just kind of helped to exfoliate the skin. Um, I didn't find it to be um, stingy unless my skin had a little bit too much chemi chemical exfoliation done to it, maybe earlier or if I had um, physical exfoliating, maybe I had to too much of a scrub, but I didn't have any problems with it stinging my skin unless I had done something a little bit too aggressive. Then I have a um, shave butter. This is the Dr. Caravan Carver, Dr. Carver shave butter. Um, it was okay. I'm not going to repurchase it. I'm just not that big into shave gels, shave butters. Just not, just not my cup of tea. So I'm not going to repurchase that. Now this item I will definitely repurchase and this is from Avon and it is the, a new, let me get my glasses so we know exactly what it is. The new clinical eye lift. It's a dual eye system. And basically what it is is there is an eye gel in this part of the jar and then there's eye cream. I do still have some eye cream in it but um, the eye gel is what I really liked because you put that on top of your lid here and it really helped to lift lift this part of your eyelids. It's like getting a, a eye lift. It really does work. And so I highly recommend it. I'm gonna have another jar that I'm going to be using. I haven't opened it yet, but um, wonderful, wonderful product. And it's one of these products that it's kind of under the radar. A lot of people don't talk about, but they really should be because it really works. And there's a link in my description box for um, for Annie and her Avon e store. So if you are interested in purchasing this product, go to her e store, contact her. She can hook you up. Ah, da -da 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 have a toothpaste from Crest. This was the Gum Detoxify Gentle Whitening. Um, it was okay. 
Um, I like my Colgate Extra Brightening Whitening Toothpaste better, so I don't know if I would repurchase it. But I did use it and try it just because, you know, they've been really talking about, you know, maintaining your gums and taking care of your gums, which I know is very important. And I caught in, got into the hype of, you know, getting a toothpaste that's specifically for your gums and detoxifying your gums. So I don't know if it did anything, but anyway, I did use that. From Clinique, I had this deluxe site sample of the Moisture Surge, and this one was in the, um, supposed to be 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator in the Moisture Surge. I use this as my daytime um, hydrator. I didn't really feel like this was enough hydration for my skin but I think if you were oily to combo that you would really like this and would find that it was hydrating enough but for my dry dehydrated skin it just wasn't enough hydration so would not purchase a full size of that but it was nice to use it while I had it then from Sephora I used two of the um, sleeping mask one was the coconut water and the other one was the um which one was this one i bought these while they were on clearance which leads would lead me to believe that the specific ones are no longer available this one was the aloe vera and i really did like those so it's too bad that they're no longer available. I really liked the coconut water. I felt like this one was really, really hydrating. Um, the aloe vera, I didn't really feel like it was that hydrating, but for the summertime, if you've been out in the, the sun and the wind or just a little bit too much, this was very soothing to the skin. And that's why I was really kind of disappointed that they didn't have that anymore. But I did like those. And... Um, in reality, this is supposed to be a one-time use, but I got three times out of each of these. So, so three nights in a row, I used each of those as my sleeping mask. And then I have two of these little guys, a deluxe size samples of the La Mer. And I'm pretty sure these are the... Um, the soft cream yes both of these were the soft cream the moisturizing soft cream I use these as at night as my moist nighttime moisturizer now these are definitely very hydrating very nice very luxe but there's no way I would ever spend the amount of money that these would cost to get a jar of this a jar of this is like 250 to 300 dollars for a jar for like a one ounce jar that's just that's ridiculous for that amount of money for a moisturizer yes it was hydrating yes it felt really good yes my skin felt really nice and plump and hydrated when i got up but there's other ones out there on the market that cost less money that do the same thing but i really did enjoy the little samples that i had and i think i was able to get two weeks out of both of these because just a small amount was all I needed for the hydration that I needed but I did enjoy using those while I had them I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I did enjoy those and then I used from Ola Henriksen the power bright three-step um, mask peeling type situation here one was you know you did the polish and then you had which was the exfoliating thing where you scrubbed and then you had the brightening, which was the um, the lemon peel strip thingy. And then you put the cream on there that kind of helped to uh, neutralize everything. So I did that. And um, I would only recommend that you do one of these like once a week at most. Maybe just twice a month would be my recommendation because these can be pretty aggressive pretty aggressive so I used one of those then I had this um, sample set that I had gotten from Sephora 
um, from Kiehl's is to light up with flawless clarity um, dark spot solution their serum and I actually really did like this and it was supposed to just last seven days but each one of these little packets I got two to three uses out of each one of these packets so I was able to use it for two weeks almost three weeks and I was really thinking I was really starting to see some good results with that so this would be something that I think I'm going to put on my um, buy list to maybe think about later on in the future to buy but it has activated C which is supposed to help diminish existing dark spots and discoloration peony extract for clarity and luminosity and then white birch extract to help prevent future dark spots and discolorations. Um, I didn't notice any um, fading of my dark spots, but I definitely noticed the luminosity um, from using this. So I thought it was pretty good. And a lot of times when you use these little sample packs, you really don't get a good feel for the product but because there was so many of them and because I was able to get so many uses out of each pack I really got a good feel for the product to really it really impressed me so that's then that's saying a lot because a lot of times stuff like that doesn't impress me unless I've used it for quite a while and then from youth to the people the um, I hate this word. Me and this word do not get along. The, the ICI Prickly Pear Goji Superberry Hydrate and Glow Oil. I love this oil. Definitely is on my repurchase list. Um, I like to, to use this during the day. Um, I like to mix it in with moisturizers to help boost the moisturizer and it really works well underneath um, foundation and works during the day. So definitely I'm going to repurchase this during the um, Sephora VIB sale, probably in November, providing that they do that. You never know. And then I did finish this little deluxe size sample of the Cover FX Highlighting Drops. Highlighting Drops. What is in the color Moonlight? The Custom Enhancer Drops. And this is one of those products that I was talking about that I would put on the back of my hand and then mix it in with my foundation. And that's why I needed the wipes, but I did finish what I could get scraped out of that. And I did like it, but I'm not going to purchase a full size of it because that would just, it would go to waste. It would just get all goopy and go to waste before I finished it. But... I did like it though. It really helped to provide a luminosity to all over my skin. Okay, and then I had some um, razors from Billy. This is like a subscription service for razors to shave with, and it's kind of like the um, the Dollar Shave Club, but it's more geared toward women. I like these for the fact that they have. Um, can't get this little dinky bob. I don't know if I want to show you all this or not because this is the one I had. That I, this is an old one and it's kind of icky. But anyway, it has one of those aloe strips around it that really kind of helps. And I just dropped it anyway. But anyway, it has one of those aloe strips around it that really helps with shaving. And for me, for someone that doesn't like using a shave gel, shave cream, whatever. I like that. I like that. So I do like the Billy, the Billy um, brand of razor blades and the razors, the online service, the subscription service. I have the, um, I tried the Dollar Shave Club, but I canceled that because as soon as I signed up for it, they went up in price. I mean, and they're not, the, the, the whole Dollar Shave Club name is just so misleading. It's so misleading. <laughs> and um, as soon as I signed up for, you know, 
two months in, I get an email, oh, sorry, you know, we got to raise the price, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, screw it. I don't even like your blades that well anyway. So um, cancel my subscription. I'm going back to Billy. So there you have it. Oh, here's another one, another empty. This is from Sunday Riley, um, the Luna oil. This is like a retinol type oil. If you're needing a very gentle retinol oil, this is a good one to try, even though it's so expensive. Lord, it's expensive, but I do like it. And anytime I can get these little samples like this to try to get, I will get those and use them. I like those. I have another one that I'm using. Now I have, oh wait, no, I do have some more empties. Dang, I have more empties than I thought I did. From Mur Murad, Morad Murad. I have the Skin Smoothing Polish, a little deluxe size sample. I do like this. This is just a really gentle um, exfoliating, a manual exfoliating, a physical exfoliator. That's a scrub. It's a scrub. And it's gentle enough that you can use it every day if you would like. I would, did not use it every day. I use it like three times a week. And I did enjoy it and would definitely consider... Um, purchasing the full size. I'm kind of thinking when um, Nordstrom does their anniversary sale in July, I'm thinking about getting the Lancer, the Method polish if it doesn't sell out. That, that sells out really, really quick. And so I don't know. I may or may not get that one. Just depends on if it sells out and what kind of deal they have on it because it's expensive. And then also for Mirad, I finished a little eye cream and I kept this over here on my makeup table so I could um, rehydrate underneath my eyes because a lot of times as I was doing my, my eye makeup, I would get fallout and so I'd have to take my, my makeup remover towelette and you know, wipe underneath my eye and then I would you know wipe away my eye cream that I've put on. And so before I would do my foundation and stuff I would want to rehydrate underneath my eye and so this is what I had pulled out to use and it is the um, renewing eye cream it was okay um, it wasn't anything that just really really wowed me like oh I need to get the full size of this but it it served its purpose for rehydrating before I put my foundation on so I use that and then I used up this guy, and this was from Algenist. Um, what was this? I bought this a long time ago, and I would be I would use this off and on, off and on, off and on. And it was um, the Targeted Deep Wrinkle Minimizer, and I mainly was using it like right in here, in this area right here. And it would work really good. It would really, you could really kind of feel it tightening right here. And you could really see like the smoothness. The issue with it was though, is it did not work well underneath makeup. Anytime I would use this underneath makeup, the makeup would start peeling up and it just didn't work well. So I would use it at night. Well then, by morning, that smoothness and everything was kind of gone. It was just a temporary. So I really would want to use this during the day. So it would have that smoothness during the day to make it really look nice. But it didn't work underneath makeup. So I wouldn't repurchase it. So anyway, there you go. Now I am to some declutter items. Some declutter items. And I have three declutter items. The first one is this product here that was in one of my um, pink sole boxes. And it's a moisturizer. And it is the Aqua Hyaluronic Acid Water Drop Cream. And I don't remember what brand this was. I'm not seeing it on here. No. And everything is white on white on white. <laughs> anyway, this just wasn't hydrating enough for me. And I really, really, really tried to use it. But it just, it just wasn't. 
it, there just was not enough hydration. Even with adding an oil to it, there just, there just wasn't. It was just, and I think it was because there was just so much um, hyaluronic acid in it that there just wasn't enough humectant on my face and in the air here to for it to draw any moisture from but yeah I just I just didn't really care for it so I'm going to let it go I hate wasting anything like this I really honestly truly do I might give it to my daughter and see if it will be enough for her I think that's what I'll do and then the next two things I have I am definitely going to get rid of because they are they're old they're past their expiration date and they are from Blythe and they're their press serum. One is in the Tundra Chaga, and one was the Gold Apricot. I had two of these. I did not care for these at all. And the reason why is they, both of them had like a silicone feel to them. I just couldn't do it, and I really tried. I tried a lot. This one I used quite a bit of this. But I just didn't like the way that they felt on the skin at all. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And they even have like a waxy smell to them. I just never, never ever did I care for them. And I noticed, I was looking at Sephora's cell page yesterday, and I noticed that they have Blythe on the cell page now. And I'm pretty sure they had these pressed serums on there. I don't recommend them, um, especially if you are, if you don't like a silicone feel to anything on your face. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend these. Yeah, I just don't, I just didn't like them, and so I would use them for a little while, then I would just, I quit. I would try, I would try, and then. So I am giving up on these. Definitely giving up on these, and I'm pretty sure they're past. The expiration. Actually, they're not. I think I have until 2020. I'm still giving up on them because I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. Here's this one. Yeah. I mean, and they feel really, really greasy, <laughs> too. Yeah, and I think that's another reason why I didn't like them. I mean, and I'm dry, and I am dry. But I just didn't really never like them because they just didn't ever really, like, go into the skin. They just kind of set on top of the skin. Yeah. And like I said, they still just had that really silicone, silicone feel to them. Anyway, I'm decluttering those. I'm taking them out. I'm tired of seeing them in my medicine cabinet staring at me, mocking me because I won't use them. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so they see they don't they don't even absorb. They're just kind of and I didn't use that much. Yeah, they're just kind of still just sitting there. Kind of goopy. Anyway, so that is it for my empties for the month of June. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.